Aerial Tronics is a young company from, uh, from Holland. We design drones, uh, we actually create the hardware, the software, and we actually build uh, the systems and assemble them and test them before we deliver them out to the, our clients. Uh, we're here at the 3D Print Show because we use our 3D printer to print our uh, latest design. A good example of uh, how we use 3D printing is the, uh, the motor mounts at the end. You see we uh, need a different sorts of, uh, to test different sorts of motors, different sorts of propeller combinations with the speed controller, uh, which meant that uh, we had to design a lot of motor mounts to, to attach to the drone to see which motor and propeller combination would be the best. To actually mold and injection mold every part we tested. Um, a combination would result that we had to build, uh, I think, around 10 injection molded molds, which are pretty expensive. And now we could print uh, 30 different motor mounts. 3D printing really s uh, speeded our development. Uh, normally, we would uh, hand shape or actually uh, source outsource our uh, our designs to to somewhere in Asia or some 3D printing company, uh, which will mean that we would get the 3D prints back within a couple of weeks. And uh, now we press print and we go home and next morning we have the print ready. Uh, we attach it to our already, uh, we already have the system ready so we attach our components to it. We attach uh, motors, propellers and we can fly and test, uh, test the equipment. The drone market is, is exploding and uh, it's, it's, it's getting uh, bigger and bigger and people are trying to find out which applications drones can be used for. And we're only at the beginning, and uh, I think it's, it's kind of like when you compare it to uh, 3D printing. Uh, we're at the beginning of 3D printing, and now we're trying to find out what we can do with 3D printing. The same is happening with, uh, with drones. Uh, what kind of applications can we use this drone for?